Hey guys, and welcome to a quick video here. And what we're going to be going ahead and doing today is taking a look at PSP JVM and what I've done in the last update. So if you don't know what PSP JVM is, it's going to be my implementation of a Java virtual machine on the PlayStation Portable. Right now I'm basically trying to implement an interpreter that will basically be able to play and use uh, Java libraries, but after that point I want to also write a dynamic recompiler, or potentially even a static recompiler slash transpiler uh, for people to be able to use their own uh, Java applications to program for the PlayStation Portable. So what the PSP JVM right now is doing is that I'm going ahead and starting the first part of Java uh, sort of loading. So the way that Java loads its applications is that you start off with the uh, initialization step. Uh, so what you're going to have to do first is you're going to load up the main class, you're going to load up these class files. Class files are the compiled forms of your Java code and it's in the form of Java bytecode. This Java bytecode has some specific specifications, it's got certain opcodes and things like that inside of there, but uh, this is really the main idea of what makes up the uh, sort of Java application. So right now what I'm really trying to do is loading up those class files in order for you to be able to do that. Next thing would be to verify them, uh, prepare certain variables, so set variables to zero and stuff like that. Uh, alongside initialization of stuff as well, and, resol and resolving uh, linker dependencies. Currently, right now, I'm in the stage of loading classes, and that's really where I'm going to start. Uh, what I've done so far is made a class loader that basically reads the top head of the uh, sort of the Java file at hand. So, for example, uh, right now, my project is aiming to be Java 8 compatible. So it's going to go for class version 52. Uh, so that's really what I want to go ahead and do. And I can go ahead and actually launch the application. We'll print out uh, some basics about the header of the file. And then the next part of that is the constant pool, which is going to be uh, basically the constant numbers that are inside of your application. So right now, if I run PSP JVM, which is the top left corner, obviously it doesn't have an icon yet because it's just in testing. Uh, but it basically loads this the test class and it gives the magic number and the major minor version, which is 52. The constant pool size is 29. And it's going to go ahead and iterate through every single one of these. Now this is doing it way slower than it actually takes to get done uh, because I just want it to be human readable. But where anything says that data is whatever, that usually just means that uh, whatever that data is, is just a pointer to another thing inside of memory where uh, the actual data is being stored. Um, and that being said, there's a lot of UTF-8, so there's a lot of strings inside of our text. Uh, once it reaches uh, element 27, it's going to stop here because there are 29 defined, uh, so the length is defined as 29, but the actual size of the array is 28, uh, and if you know that we count from 0, uh, the maximum number that you can get is 27, so we're at the end of the constant pool array. Uh, the next sort of step that I have to get in is basically loading the rest of the class file, uh, so going through fields, methods, attributes, those are the real big things that we need to get finished in order to be able to basically load up um, a Java class in C++ and be able to, and then after that we can go ahead and start working on stuff more like execution uh, and sort of linking. But for now, guys, that's really what I've done for the side of basically doing PSP JVM and letting Java run on the PSP. Uh, currently, this is how far I'm at, which is a very, very rudimentary and basic stage. But in the future, we'll hopefully have a fully working interpreter and then a fully working just-in-time compiler. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.